Uh, what I'm going to do today is the first in what I hope is going to be a series of tutorials which is going to cover game settings rather than actually creating something in the GEC. So that's part of the reason why I've been away for so long because I've been trying to come up with something new to do. So I finally thought I could do the, these, these game settings. So to view the settings we go in this gameplay bar at the top and settings and here they are you get this huge long list of stuff and it does a lot of things in the settings and some of them you can just change and it's fine and some of them you can change and you can totally break the game so you sh probably shouldn't change settings unless you're totally sure you know what they do so most of them you can kind of infer what they do by the name um, and some of them it's kind of more confusing Anyway, I'm going to show you uh, how, to, how to do certain things. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do before you add any settings, probably save in case you destroy like, the whole thing. Settings tutorial, call it that. And the first setting I'm going to show is how to edit the barter system in the game. So you're on gameplay settings. And now there's two different settings we're going to want to edit. And I've written this handy little formula here to show how it all works. So first up, if you want to edit the buying price, the buying price is worked out with this top formula here. <laughs> Item value times by F bar to base plus in brackets item value multiplied by the player's bar to skill multiplied by F bar to buy mult divided by a hundred. So if I do this sum and I want to buy something for hundred caps. Yeah, what I'm going to do, look up the actual things. So you can search like this, F bar, as we have here, all these different things, all these different settings. F bar to buy base, which is here, which is default at 1.55. So if I wanted, if something was 100 caps, that would be 100 multiplied by 1.55, close brackets, plus the item value again, plus the player's barter skill, say the player's barter had, player had a max barter skill multiplied then by, or plus instead of multiplied back here multiplied again by F barter by mult which is minus 0.45 minus 0.45 divided by 100 so this 100 cap item costs apparently 200 caps with max bar skill, that does not sound right. That's definitely the right thing. It's whether I just typed it into my calculator wrong. I should have prepared for this tutorial better. I might have to start again. Oh no, okay. I didn't put in minus. Actually cost 110 caps. So there we go. My formula does seem to be right. So basically all you do is click here and edit it. So I'm going to edit this to 1.35, for example. And if I were to edit this to 1.35, it would alter the item to cost 90 caps. So lowering this number will make it easier for you to buy things from the NPC, basically. And then this negative number, if I were to lower this here, and I'll just reset the other one to the default, on my calculator, three. That increases it, so raising this will make it harder for you to buy. So really, it's just about knowing which setting you want to change, and using these settings to work it out on your on your calculator. So if you wanted to change the selling price, which is how much you sell it to to an NPC, you'd need to find the F bar to sell base which is these down here, which they both default to the same value. So I'll just edit in on my calculator we need this 0.45 and we can find out how much it would cost to sell this item. 0.45. It would you would be able to sell it for 90 caps. So really it's just up to you to fiddle around with the settings. This is just an example to basically demonstrate what all the settings do so you know how to do it if you want to make it easier for yourself if you want to make it harder for yourself um, 
And that's basically it. I'll copy and paste these into the description. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this was useful. Just experimenting with this style of tutorial, really. Um, thanks for watching.